grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all and also with you. Good morning and you're very welcome to our service of Holy Communion on the day of Pentecost. We're coming to you from John the Baptist Church in sunny today at least, Middleton in East, beautiful East Cork. Jesus Christ, whom we worship, is our crucified, risen and ascended Lord. And we have walked with him through his journey of love. We have faced the agony of his suffering and death on the cross. We have rejoiced at his bursting free from the bonds of death. We have enjoyed his risen presence with us and his revelation of himself through the breaking of the bread. We have seen his return to the throne before which every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that this Jesus is Lord. And now with the followers of his own time, we await the coming of his promised Holy Spirit, his gift to his people, through whom we make Christ known to the world. Our opening hymn, Spirit of God, unseen as the wind. God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins to intercede for us in heaven and to bring us to eternal life. Let us then confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us. 
that we may walk in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Collect of Pentecost. Almighty God, who on the day of Pentecost sent your Holy Spirit to the Apostles with the wind from heaven and in tongues of flame, filling them with joy and boldness to preach the gospel. By the power of the same Spirit, strengthen us to witness to your truth and draw everyone to the fire of your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our first reading is read now by James. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place, and suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as of fire appeared amongst them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak in other languages, as the Spirit gave them ability. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound the crowd gathered and was bewildered, because each one heard them speaking in the native language of each. Amazed and astonished, they asked, Are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in our own native language? Parthians, Medes, Elmanites? And residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs. In our own languages we hear them speaking about God's deed of power. All were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, what does this mean? But others sneered and said they are filled with new wine. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them. Men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you, and listen to what I say. Indeed, these are not drunk as you suppose, for it is only nine o'clock in the morning. No, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days it will be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, and your sons and daughters shall prophesy, and your old young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Even upon my slaves, both men and women, in those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show portents in the heaven above, and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and smoky mist, the sun shall be turned to darkness. Thank you. And today's Gospel reading 
Alleluia, alleluia. There are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. By the one Spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Alleluia. Hear the Gospel of our Saviour Christ, according to John, chapter 20, beginning at verse 19. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are, for, they are retained. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of all our hearts be now and always acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. One of the things that I miss about church gatherings though it's lovely being here today but one of the things I miss is the sharing of the peace I thought it was the handshake and the greeting which I know not everybody love but it's at a way more basic level than that to me it's about communication and connection words that are, are very prevalent at the moment. These are even more fundamental than greeting with handshakes and words, though they're powerful too. And for this reason, we've been working on a video of sharing the peace, and you'll see it later in the service. Sharing the peace with each other comes at a very pivotal point in the communion service. We've said our sorries to God and been forgiven. We've listened to the readings and to the sermon. We're about to say our prayers. And at that point then, we're ready to turn to the communion. But first, we must make our peace with each other. I think it's that sharing of the peace that turns us from being spectators to actually being participants in the Eucharist. And I suppose that's another reason why this online worship, though good, is only a substitute and it can never replace real embodied worship together. The gift of peace is integral to Pentecost and we heard again today in that gospel reading about Jesus giving peace to his disciples. We heard in the epistle reading the disciples had gathered together. They were all together in one place. They hadn't been compelled by the law to be in one place, unlike uh, the lockdowns that we are experiencing, where we're compelled to not gather. But they were, the disciples that is, united by their shared fears, united by their shared fears and uncertainty and insecurity about the future and that was at the forefront of their minds. And then something happened. 
it changed those terrified people forever. It actually changed the course of history with the advent of the Christian church. We're told there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as of fire appeared among them and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them ability. Something amazing happened that enabled the disciples to connect with God, with each other, and with people all around them. It also helped them com to communicate with God, with each other, and with all the people around them. I asked last week how you would depict the ascension. I could as easily ask how you would depict this scene. And uh, with our hymns throughout the service, we'll see some of the ways in which people have depicted this scene. However it's drawn or sculpted or painted, something occurred and the result was communication and connection. We're told language, one of the basic barriers to communication was overcome, almost like a reversal of the Tower of Babel, that Bible story from the Old Testament that tells us about the origin of different languages. Instead, the overcoming of the barriers of language at Pentecost speaks about the unifying nature of the Holy Spirit. Seeking to unify, not to ignore inequality or pretend it doesn't exist, but to seek the common good. All of this happens in just the second chapter of the Book of Acts. The rest of it tells us about the life of the early church who from that moment on were transformed. There was no holding them back as they carried the good news about Jesus through the known world. First, to the Jewish people, to whom all the first Christians belonged. Then, to the wider Greco-Roman Empire, and eventually to the entire globe. The Gospel reading today tells us about Jesus preparing the disciples for that gift. Jesus breathed on them, peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he said this, he breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit. Breathing on people can be seen as quite a suspect thing at the moment in COVID times. But in this account, it's very much a sign of life, breath being related to life. Remember, God breathed into Adam and he came to life. Remember Ezekiel and the dry bones, the breath came into them and they became alive. The word inspire has got to do with breathing and also with the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Breath and breathing have been very much to the fore as people who have been ill with COVID have had such difficulty breathing and we have seen the heroic medical people helping them to breathe. And it's starkly contrasted to the news story that has dominated over the last few days, the death of a young black man called George Floyd in Minnesota, whose last phrase was the word, was, was I can't breathe. The Holy Spirit comes in power 
and Pentecost to unite us, to breathe life into us, to inspire us to stand together, to work together for peace, justice, unity, truth. It is the Holy Spirit at work in our lives that brings about the fruits of the Holy Spirit in each of us. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Amen. We turn now to our prayers and a very big thank you to several members of the congregation who joined with me yesterday and we prepared these intercessions. Let us pray. We pray for God to fill us with his spirit. Generous God, we thank you for the power of your Holy Spirit. We ask that we may be strengthened to serve you better. We pray for all in positions of authority, for wisdom and compassion as they lead us. Lord, come to bless us. And fill us with your spirit. We thank you for the wisdom of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to make us wise to understand your will. We pray for our church leaders, especially our Bishop Paul. Lord, come to bless us. And, and fill us with your spirit. We thank you for the peace of your Holy Spirit. We thank you for the peace of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to keep us confident of your love, wherever you call us. Help us to share the peace that you have given us. Lord, come to bless us. And fill us with your spirit. We thank you for the healing of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to bring reconciliation and wholeness where there is division, sickness and sorrow. Lord, come to bless us. And fill us with your spirit. We thank you for the gifts of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to equip us for the work which you have given us. Lord, come to bless us. And fill us with your spirit. We thank you for the fruit of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to reveal in our lives the love of Jesus. Help us to continually seek to nurture the gifts you have given us and produce the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Lord, come to bless us. And fill us with your spirit. We thank you for the breath of your Holy Spirit given us by the risen Lord. We ask you to keep the whole church living and departed in the joy of eternal life. We pray for those whose hearts are saddened by the death or the illness of someone dear to them. Be with them, give them strength in the knowledge that Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light that no darkness can quench. You turn our darkness into light and in your light shall we be comforted. Lord, Come to bless us and, and fill, fill us with your Holy Spirit. Generous God, you sent your Holy Spirit upon your Messiah at the River Jordan and upon the disciples in the upper room. In your mercy, fill us with your Spirit. Hear our prayer and make, make, make us, us, us one, one in heart, heart, heart and mind. mind. To serve, to serve you with joy, joy forever. forever. Amen. Amen. In our prayers, we also remember the family 
of Siobhan Delaney, whose uh, funeral was held yesterday. We pray for all those grieved by her very sad death. We come now to the sharing of the peace. Christ is our peace. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace. If we live in the Spirit, let us walk in the, in the Spirit. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. And we share that peace with one another now. Peace be with you. 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 Shia Conal Tiernath, a villette. Peace be with you. The peace of the Lord. Offertory hymn where we offer ourselves to God is Breathe on Me, Breath of God. Be present, Lord Jesus Christ, our risen High Priest. Make yourself known in the breaking of bread. Amen. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Father, Lord of all creation, we praise you for your goodness and your love. When we turned away, you did not reject us, 
You came to meet us in your Son, welcomed us as your children, and prepared a table where we might feast with you. In Christ you shared our life, that we might live in him and he in us. He opened wide his arms upon the cross, and with love stronger than death, he made the perfect sacrifice for sin. Lord Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, on the night before you died, you came to table with your friends. Taking bread, you gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Lord Jesus, we bless you. You are the bread of life. At the end of supper, you took the cup of wine, gave thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Lord Jesus, we bless you. You are the true vine. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. Holy Spirit, giver of life, come upon us now. May this bread and wine be to us the body and blood of our Saviour Jesus Christ. As we eat and drink these holy gifts, make us who know our need of grace, one in Christ our risen Lord. Father, Son and Holy Spirit, blessed Trinity, with your whole church throughout the world, we offer you this sacrifice of thanks and praise and lift our voice to join the song of heaven, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Thanks be to you, our, our God, for your gift beyond words. Amen, Amen, Amen. As our Saviour Christ has taught us, we are confident to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The bread which we break is a sharing in the body of Christ. We, being many, are one body, for we all share in the one bread. Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God who has taken away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, the word and I shall be healed. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace.
although we're not able to share bread and wine, the invitation of the Lord remains the same. Come, all are welcome, all are included. The peace is for everyone. Faithful God, who fulfilled the promises of Easter by the sending of your Holy Spirit and opening to every race and nation the way of life eternal, open our lips to, by your Spirit that every tongue may tell of your glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the spiritual food of the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Before our final hymn, I'd like to say thank you very much again to Ian Sexton, ably assisted today by Allegra. And thank you to Patrick for performing technological acrobatics yet again. Um, a reminder that there is a Zoom coffee straight after this service, and the password is Cloin. Um, maybe, Patrick, we could put the number of the meeting. I'll give it to you um, up in the comments. Thank you very much to those of you who have used the I Donate uh, facility on Facebook and it is obviously still there. Um, congratulations to second level students and teachers who are now on their summer break. Um, the national schools are still working so congratulations to them, to the students and to the teachers. Uh, our final hymn is Brother, Sister, Let Me Serve You. Spirit of truth, lead you into all truth. 
give you grace to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and to proclaim the words and works of God and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Go in the peace of the risen Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.